How you guys doing today? This is Eric. I don't know how good my audio is going to be, but here it goes. Uh, this video is for uh, my new friend, who's uh, he's very proud of his race, and uh, I have nothing against that. Uh, what I'm hoping today is to show him that uh, there's a right and a wrong way to be proud about who you are and where you come from. Uh, the first, first thing I think I need to address, most importantly, is that if you're worried about your population, the number of your you know, people, if you're worried about your birth rate, have more kids. Have a lot more kids, man. That's all you have to do. So, you know, that point is easily taken care of. The uh, other part, which is much, much more serious, is the aggressive nature in which you men uh, you how you need to go about doing things. You have a, a an unbelievable hate in you that you do not uh, realize. It is completely blinding. So to be proud of your race, all you have to do is share it with everybody. And that's what we do with cultures. When we go out and we have different foods with different people, different types of people that make different types of foods. Um, you know, you may go to a movie festival that's in French or German, you know. You, you appreciate the differences in the cultures and the parts that you don't like, you work towards without the hate. And the only way that you can change things is to do it for yourself, man. And if you're going to do nothing but breed hate, it's only going to end up in war, it's only going to end up in violence. So it all depends what you want to look at and how you want to see life. This is, this is my balcony. It's very lush and beautiful, but on the other hand, I'm also in the city with a lot of people, and they're all different, and i got to get along with them or they're going to try to hurt me, and that's why I'm worried about you. There's an aspect about you that worries me. I know that anybody can hack into a site and find out who I am, and that's why I'm making this video. For people that are that diligent to do harm, there's something wrong with you and you need to get help and I could do two things I could sit here and try to hide my family and go up into the mountains do whatever right but the thing that I really need to do is just have a conversation with you and try to change your mind try to make you a little more peaceable um, you know I've been shot at eight times by individuals all eight times that I was shot at I did not know these people um, they were not trying to rob me they were doing violence for the sake of violence and they've weeded in with people that have ideals so if people are teaching you to hate their ideals are wrong you know it's not just about my children I could be quiet and not tell anybody but it's about my neighbors children it's about my neighbors families children we want a life on this planet without all your harm, without all your dangers. You know, they're all probably just going to go underneath these bunkers anyway, man. Leave us all out here to fend for ourselves, huh? Is that what you guys are getting ready to do, huh? The great holocaust where everybody goes underneath and we have martial law everywhere? Why does it have to all end up in war? I think it's time for a change. God bless. Much love to you, man, and much love to anybody else that's a racist. I hope you I hope you learn to love other people. You know, I don't know what I'd do without going eating Korean food, man, or Mexican food. I've been living on Mexican food forever in a day. You know, I appreciate cultures. I appreciate people. I learn from everybody. It's all about learning. It's all about seeing just what you want to see.